Welcome peoples to today is day six of our lockdown and today we're going to focus on whole body mobility and flexibility. We're going to do it from a standing position mostly and all you need today is a broomstick. I have a piece of PVC piping. That'll do. Just get something that you can uh, hold and use for your shoulders. So it needs to be longer than you are tall in a perfect world. All right, so peoples, let's get this show on the road. It's a really nice general basic stretch, but it will feel quite good post. Like all stretching does, we're just going to start with some unders and overs. So these are actually called shoulder dislocates where we are just going under and over. You want your fingers to be forward on the bar. You're holding it this way. And we're just going under and over. There we go. And this is actually really good for increasing shoulder mobility, uh, particularly in joint capture. We're gonna get stuck into that a little bit later. So warm the shoulders up. Just gently have your hands wide if you need to in order to maintain or get that full range. And then what we will aim to do, so have a look where your hands are to start with in order to get that bar all the way over your back. By the end of this, you should be able to slide your hands in a little bit closer to each other and still get that nice full range. So that's what we're gonna be looking at in terms of a test and improvement in our mobility. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take it straight up in the air, bring your hands a little bit closer, and we're just going to be pulling the bar down behind us, but off our shoulders. So we're not going to let it touch, and I want you to try and stand so that you are stacked with your shoulders on top of your hips, not in front of, not behind, stand nice and tall, hands go up, shoulders come down, no shrugging. So we don't want to do these ones, pull your shoulders away from your ears. And now we're just pushing the bar away and pulling it down. So we're making some um, W's with our elbows as we pull down. That's it. Keep the bar off your shoulder blades. Try not to arch your back too much here. Tuck your hips under. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your quads. Squeeze your hemis. In other words, you want to be as stiff as a board from your all the way up your legs. Create a little bit of tension in your body. Be that two-year-old chucking a tantrum. You know those ah! moments? You know those? We've all had those. Surely. Surely I was not the only one. There we go. We've got four more of those. Breathe out as you press up. Breathe in. As you're coming down, exhale, push it away. Breathe in. Exhale. One more. Breathing in. And exhaling. Nice one. Okay, now we're going to place the bar across our shoulders and we're just going to do some nice rotations. Try and keep your feet locked down and you're not pivoting here. I don't want you pivoting yet. We'll get there. At the moment, just stay nice and stable. Again, look how far you get or how far you don't get. Take note of where the bar ends up as you're twisting. Yeah. So just getting some nice rotation here. Keep your feet planted firmly on the floor as you rotate both left and right. Good. That feels quite nice, hey? I think so. Yes. Excellent. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the bar around the body. So we're doing nice big circles around your whole body. Bend your elbows if you have to, that's okay. No crime in that. That's it, good. And take it back the other way. Take it back the other way. As we bring it up and over, we're getting a lovely stretch all through here, through underneath your armpits, your lats. Good, your pecs, through your chest. So in this range here, we're getting a nice stretch in our pecs, yeah? So, <clears throat> At different stages of this position, you're getting different aspects. So let's slow it right down, slow it right down so that you get that nice stretch as it comes up overhead, see? As it comes around and behind you and you're externally rotating, you're getting that beautiful stretch through your pecs, 
through your bicep even, just a little bit through the bicep, go the other way nice and slow. Slow it right down so we get the stretch. Notice where you really feel it. Lock your elbows out now. Really aim at locking your elbows out so that you are now really getting that stretch. Your palms are facing forward, locking the elbows out. Again, create a little bit of tension through your body. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads, squeeze your hamstrings. Turn on your glutes. You should be able to hold a one carat diamond between your butt cheeks or a $50 note, whatever works for you. I'm very visual. <laughs> and go the other way. One more time, nice and slow. Good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the unders and overs. Just bring your hands in just a little bit closer now. So slide them a bit closer together and off we go again. Here we go. All the way over, all the way back. One shoulder might feel a little bit better than the other. Now we're going to bring our hands even closer and we're just going to go to where that stickiness is, where you can't go anymore. And we're just going to hang there a little bit. Try and tuck your pelvis. So try not to stand with your bum sticking out. Tuck it under and lift your head. That's it. Don't let your chin poke forward. Pull it back. Little tiny uh, pulses here in this position here. Good. Now putting the bar on your shoulders again. We're going to go nice wide feet. Feet are pointing forward, not outwards. So point your toes forward so they're like a set of railway tracks. You're going to come down into a flat back. Remember the flat back? That's not a flat back and I'm bending at the waist. I want you to bend at the hips, hinge at the hips in fact, so off we go. Stick your bum out, stick your chest out and lean forward. Hinge at the hips and now we're just going to rotate. Keep your legs straight, it's not a huge movement but you're also getting a lovely stretch right up high in your adductors. So it's not a huge movement here guys. If you slide your hand down the bar, obviously it's going to increase that range. You can do that. Slide your hands towards the end of the bar, rotating like a windmill. This is what a windmill looks like. I'm not quite sure where I got that idea from, but anyway. There we go. Good. We got three. We got two more. Lock your knees out. Have a flat back. Two. One more. One. Good. Coming up. Use your stick and just give me some nice leg swings. Off we go. Beautiful leg swings. Good, excellent, and changing sides. Off we go, other leg, swing it, swing it. So I said we're gonna do some, all of our stretching, most of it today is gonna to be in the standing position. Yep. Now we're gonna go into a beautiful quad stretch. So with a quad stretch, basically you're bringing your heel to your bum. I'm using this stick for support. So I'm side on so that you can see. The common uh, mistakes we see with a quad stretch is people will lean forward. So they're doing all this sort of stuff to cheat the stretch. Or they'll really arch their back and stick their bum out because they're trying to cheat it. So if you are really tight through your quads, we commonly will see a lot of this happening, uh, leaning forward. What I want you to do is now stand upright. So stack your shoulders on top of your hips, not in front. Bring your shoulders on top, bring your heel to your bottom, put your knees together, check that they are in alignment with each other. So you don't want them sticking out to the side. You don't want one in front or one behind. You just want your knees together. Woo! Together, there we go. Not like that, together. It's not hard, is it? There you go, see, not there, not there. They're together. Now you pull your heel to your bottom. Really pull it into your bottom. Stand nice and square. Your shoulders are facing the front. Your hips are facing the front. Yeah? So here we go. We're not tilting. We're not hiking one hip up and out. We are square. Check yourself. It helps sometimes to be in front of a mirror so that you've got your feedback system. Good. You're really going to squeeze that quad into your bum and then we're going to change. Here we go. Other leg, bring it up. Put your shoulders on top of your hips. Now bring your knees together. Tuck your pelvis under so that we are not sticking our bum out. Tuck it under. That's it. Knees are together in alignment with each other. 
See? Knees are in alignment with each other. And now just pull the heel to your bottom. Give it a nice squeeze in. Feels quite good. Yes. Okay, good. And release him. Okay, now let's do a nice hamstring stretch. Feet are together. Let's just slide our hands down the front. And now we're just going to pick up one heel. So pick your left heel up and really lock your right leg out. Lock it out. And then change. Put your heel down and lift the right heel up. Lift it up. Lock this left leg out. If you've got a bend in that knee, you're not going to get the stretch. So lock it out. Push it towards the back of the room. Drop your head. Look at the back of the room or look at your knee. And change. Other heel up. Lock the right knee out. Good. Look down. Drop your head. Drop your chin. And change. Other way. Yep. Alternating. Pausing. Holding. And change. Now we're going to increase that same stretch. We're going to put our left foot across our right. Left foot across your right. Again, we're just going to fold forward. Now we're here. We're going to bend the front knee. Bend the front knee and really lock out the back knee so that he's straight. Lock him out. That's so you can see. So I'm not bending it. I'm bending the front knee. I'm locking out the back knee. Drop your head, look down and hold. That'll be burning if you're tight. That's going to burn behind your knee and it might even burn all the way down into your heel. That's an indication that you need to do a little bit more stretching. A lot more stretching, actually. Smile. It helps. Good. Coming up, we're going to change. Take the right foot across the left. Ready? Bend forward. When you get there, you might need something. If you can't get your hands to the floor, you might want to support yourself on something like a foam roller, perhaps. Okay? But if you can get your hands to the floor, go all the way. Lock out the back knee and bend the front knee. It intensifies that stretch immensely. Drop your head so you're looking at your knee or look at the back of the wall. Push that left knee to the back of the wall. Yes, lock out the back one. Bend the front one. Look down. Hold, hold, hold. That feels so lovely. Good. And coming up. Nice. Here we go. Feet are nice and wide now. Our toes are forward. Again, we're going to bend from the hips. We're going to bend from the hips. And we're just going to stay down. Let your feet slide out as wide as you can. If you can't touch the floor, again, you might want to support yourself with something here. Okay. This one helps if you've got good grip. At the moment, my feet are sliding from underneath me. Um, and now that you're here, just rock left and right. Rock or shift your hips, your weight, just left and right. And you're going to change the stretch. It's going to change right up high. When you push your hips to the left, you're going to feel it right up high on the right side of your adductor group. When you push your hip to the right, you're going to feel it very high up on the left. Here we go. Rock left. Rock right. Feels good. Two more. Rock left. And rock right. There we go. Nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just take our head down towards our left knee. So turn your whole body around and then just go forward. Drop your head towards your left knee. If you can get it there, that's nice. If you can't, don't worry. It's something to work towards, okay? So make sure your both legs are locked out. Don't bend your knees here, kids. Even if it means it's going to reduce your range, that's okay. Don't worry about it. We're going to work on it, yeah? Okay, coming up, turn your whole body and you're going to the other side. So your feet are nice and wide. Turn your shoulders, off we go. Take your head towards your knee. That's it, lock the knees out. Don't let them be bent. Stay there. Three, two, one, coming up. And now let's go to the center again. Here we go, we're going to the center. We're going to try and put our crown on the floor. So we're going to try and put the crown of our head straight down between our legs. There we go. If you can get there, that's great. If you can't, don't worry. It's something to work towards. Right. Coming up. All right, kids. Let's just do a lovely little calf stretch. Kick your foot out in front. 
I've got my right foot out in front. I'm going to bend the back knee. And now I'm going to tilt at the hips, stick my bum out, stick my chest out, draw my toes back towards my shins. And I'm just going to get a lovely stretch right there. Hold your toes back towards you. Lock the front knee out. Lock him out. Good. And coming up. Other leg. Stick your left leg forward. Ready. Bending from the hips. Chest out. Bum out. Lead forward. Lean forward. Draw your toes back towards you. So there we go. We're going to flex our toes. So not here. You want to draw them back towards you. You need a flat back. You need to really stick your bottom out. You need to really stick your chest out. Bend this supporting leg and nice straight leg here. Good. Coming up. Oh, nice one. Feels good, right? Well, what we're going to do now, I'm going to leave you with a challenge today. It's Friday. Today's challenge is to try a yoga handstand. Now, like anything, there is a knack to it. And when you know the knack, you can do it. So what we do is we have to get the whole, the crown of our head on the floor. So you need to almost be like a spear heading straight down. So what we do is we come down. Now, I haven't done one in a long time, so this could be disastrous. We'll see. Muscle memory I'm relying on. Come down, have your... Um, elbows on the inside of your knee, pushing your knees out, right? So you're going to actually use them as support. You'll see what I mean. Your palms are on the floor in front of you and they're spread very wide, not like this. Spread your fingers. From here, I'm now going to take my head toward the floor. So there we go. My crown of my head is on the floor. My elbows and knees are touching. I'm lifting my feet off and now I'm going to straighten my legs very, very slowly. I'm going to come into a standing position on my head. Well, slowly, Woo! almost. When you fail, you try one more go. Here we go. Hands are wide, fingers are wide. We go straight down onto the crown of our head. Yes, lift your feet off and Begin to unfold. There we go. Unfold. All the way up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze everything. And then come down the way you went up. <sighs> Woo. Okay, that, my friends, concludes number six of ten. It's 17 minutes today. It's a short one. I hope you've had fun. I have. And I know that I have to learn a new song for you. I will the next time. What we might have is my flatmate, Karen, might make a guest appearance with me on the ukulele. How cool would that be? She doesn't know that yet. Now, you all know this song. lovely weekend. Enjoy. Take care. Repeat some of my stretches. I'm not going to do some new ones during the um, weekend. However, there are a YouTube link so you can go and repeat any single one of them. Try the handstand. Remember, the knack is to get right on the crown of your head. Otherwise, it just won't work. I've been Michelle again. You've been awesome.